Yeah, Tuesday night. Tuesday night after practice, first off, family comes up. We have uh, all the kids get together, and the wives, and they bake, usually bake cookies. Did y'all find cookie night? Of course. They think it's so much fun. Did you get any good, good treats? Oh, yes. I love chocolate, too. It just doesn't love me. Get ready for Tuesday night, Rudy's Barbecue. Uh, do our do our coaches show, radio show. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. Since I've gotten on the job since last December, I've had to do a lot of different media things. So obviously, you get a lot more comfortable as you go. Get a little fan interaction. So that's where we're headed right now. I always look forward to it. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. How y'all doing? Well, I think more important than just the actual radio show is the fact that fans can come out and interact yeah. with him, and he's very good about good. taking time to talk to fans one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I enjoy uh, getting around people and oh, yeah. getting to know their families, and you? usually you start having a, a crew that shows up weekly, but I've, I've just enjoyed getting, up, getting out and getting around, and then uh, obviously uh, the radio show is always fun, Alex people calling in. and asking different questions and interested about your program. So that's always exciting when there's a buzz and people are excited about you know, your program and your student athletes. Well, we, we still have a long way to go, but we'll, we'll get there. Well, we're just getting started on the week two of our self patrol show. And so it was a little different at first, you know, just getting make, making sure your eyes were, were where they needed to be at times, when we're, especially when we're on offense. But it's pretty easy to see if you just train your eyes the right way. So it, it, was, it was a lot of fun getting to be back down on the side around the players. And, you know, sometimes you get in the press box, it doesn't, you know, you're not a, it feels like you're not, the emotional side of things aren't, you know, up there. So a lot more emotions down the field. You know, it's great to be around the coaches, the players, uh, feeling the excitement, and then also, you know, being able to pick them up when they need to be picked up. And in the paper, you said before the game that Cortland Sutton might be the best receiver you see all year. He certainly had an efficient game. And looking at it, should he have made that catch in the end zone? Was that all on him, or could your defenders have done a better job? Yeah, they could have done a better job. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Uh, it was a heck of a play by him. I mean, you watch it on tape, and there's, there's four, what, six hands in the ball. You have other guys that are touching the ball as well. So he finished a competitive play, and that's what it comes down to. Our guys didn't finish a competitive play, and we got to do a better job of that. They're in position. Uh, it just so happened to where the two hands on the other team came down with the ball, and he made a heck of a play. Uh, well, I asked Alan Morris on this show, who's a name that people aren't familiar with yet that they will be by the end of the season? He did not hesitate at all, and he said, uh, Willie Robinson, well, there he is, eight catches, 73 yards. Uh, also a career day. Terry and Murray, eight catches, 64 yards. Jeffrey Wilson, career high. He, he carried for 86, he caught six for 55. Uh, touchdown for uh, Thaddeus Thompson, touchdown for Kelvin Smith. As a group, what did you think of the job by the receiving board? They did some good things, there's no doubt. I thought, in this system, better be able to catch the ball. <laughs> better be, um, I don't know what the, expect, the expectations around here before we were catching the football, but, we're going to catch the football. We're going to throw the football. So, yeah, they, they, they have to be able to go out there and make plays. And I thought they did. I thought they did some really good things. Hey, look, it doesn't. There's great football everywhere. You know, there's great players. They're in a great recruiting base, and they do a heck of a job. If we prepare the right way and we play it like I think we can, we'll be fine. We'll go out there and compete and win the football game. Bethune, Cookman, week two, 6 o'clock Saturday. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Here this year, every Tuesday, Saturday, 8th, for the South Patrol Show. This episode of Beyond the Green is brought to you by Cool Beans Bar and Grill. Welcome to Denton, Texas, home of the grind, where there's the right way, the wrong way, and the North Texas way. Wake up, train, sleep, repeat, 24-7, 365. The grind cannot be tamed. The grind is relentless. The grind will wear you down. It will push you through the beat, and it will lift you up in victory. Get ready. It's time to feed the grind. North Texas versus Middle Tennessee, Saturday, October 1st. Call 940-565-2527 or visit MeanGreenSports.com. The land is big here, 
vibrant cities and open skies lead the way to UNT. In our classrooms, studios, and labs, science and art converge, creativity drives innovation, and today's learners become tomorrow's leaders. Inspiring one of America's great iconic college towns, all who come here create their own mark. UNT is a pantheon of opportunity, a place of transformation, a catalyst for the future. Caring. Community. Committed. Compassionate. Unity. Understanding. Uplifting. Unconditional. Service. Selflessness. Strength. Support. Appreciation. Accountable. Accommodating. Accepting. This is who we want to be. Every day, all day, CUSA. Welcome to Denton, Texas, home of the grind, where there's the right way, the wrong way, and the North Texas way. Wake up, train, sleep, repeat, 24-7, 365. The grind cannot be tamed. The grind is relentless. The grind will wear you down. It will push you through the beat, and it will lift you up in victory. Get ready. It's time to feed the grind. North Texas versus Middle Tennessee, Saturday, October 1st. Call 940-565-2527 or visit MeanGreenSports.com. One play at a time. One play at a time. Kick some ass. One play at a time. Got me? One play at a time. North Texas playing host to Bethune Cookman. First meeting ever between these two schools. Bethune Cookman defensively two years ago led all of FCS in total defense. Offensively, last year they led the MEAC in rushing, in passing, in total offense. Points per game, they were 9 and 2. They again won the MEAC. They're trying to repeat, make it five straight conference championships. Let's go. Men, we've talked about it. Today, the only thing that really damn matters is team. There's not one individual, there's not one coach, there's not one player who can win this game on their own. So we need to find out this week how much better we got as a team. Four quarters as a team, as a family. You want your respect? Respect, let me tell you something about respect, man. Respect isn't given to anybody. But the only respect you get is what you put on tape as a team. Make sure you believe in yourselves, believe in your teammates. Let's go break it down. Top on three, top on three. One, two, three. Let's go, boys. And you heard right. Mason Fine, the true freshman. Getting the start. Alec Morris got the start last week. The graduate transfer from Alabama. Let's get it, man. Dean Green showing a four-man rush. And they blitz, and Brim is going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. The blitz gets to him with three and out on the first possession for the Wildcats, and it was again Courtney Finney getting to Larry Brim, Jr. Yo, That's what I'm supposed to do. Hey, here. Hey, I, I got your water. Yeah, man. Man. Right, 91's going to be up the field on you, right? Okay, brace and pump. Move your feet all night. Understand that. Don't stop attacking. Everybody understand that. We're fine. Don't stop attacking. Let's go get the rack. A couple of steps toward the line, backs up again. Has the snap. And his chase to his left may keep. He will keep. 30, 25, 20. Leans and dives for the first down marker. Hey, hey, hey. You're going to be, you'll come out with your coverage because three arcs out. And you'll be right there for the quarterback pull. We'll, we'll smoke it with the dive right there with the nickel. The safety will be outside the arc and you'll be inside. Right with your coverage. You got me? Right. Snap back. Hand off Wilson, big room, right side, 15, 10 to the middle, touchdown. Jeffrey Wilson started right, cut left, up the middle, and the knee greener on the board. That one you went to the right and you got hit like for a yard, it was back side. Make sure you stay square. The next run you hit, you hit up the middle, that was good. You stay square, you're going to be here the whole day. Has the snap back, quarter blitz picked up, throw is complete, but well short of the first down. And they run with five in the box, and someone ran a six out wide in. I just thought we had numbers, and I was going to take you Going forward on fourth down and two from the 32 of Bethune Cookman in a 7 7 game early second. And snap his back. Fake handoff. Throw is complete. Smiley, though, wrapped up immediately for a loss at the 35-yard line. They lose three 
going for it on fourth down and two. You gotta lock in, Zion. Viper, the safety. Looking down the middle, meet him. You stare right there, he went right over there and made the play. On slip, if the end's up the field, what do you do? Hand it off, it's gonna be a gash. You pull it, you gotta read it, don't guess. Read, read, you're better than that. That would've been a gash on that slip, huh? And so on to punt will be Jonathan Cagle with the wind at his back on fourth and 21. Weishback waiting for the punt at his 32. They come after it, and it is blocked! Blocked and picked up for a touchdown! Picked up and returned two yards. You go blow him up! You go immediately and you blast him. You can't, if he's pressed, you go blast him. And if your guys will follow, it's going to be a game. We're going to start lighting it up. Let's go, let's go. Brim with the play clock under five has the snap. Well protected this time, steps up, throws, intercepted by McLean at midfield, 45 out of bounds. Hey, 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 big job, buddy. I got another round. Split second earlier, baby. Thompson able to make the catch inbounds. So second to goal from the 10. Handoff coming left with room as Wilson to the 5. Breaks the tackle, steps into the end zone, touchdown. Well, I owe you one, I owe you one. Hey, you damn. Shifting out of the backfield to go wide left. It is empty, snap back rim. With some heat over him, throws complete over the middle at midfield, a strike. Wide out, slot left, empty backfield, five wide, snap back, quarterback draw, fooling nobody, brought down for a loss. To do it all again, second down at four, and the snap back, handoff to Nelson, driven back by Scott and McLean. Texas three of six on third, play clock under 10, still plenty of time for Mason Fine. With the snap back. And he will quarterback draw up the middle, 30, 35, 40, big room. Midfield over a tackler and ahead to the 45 of Bethune Cookman, a 25 yard quarterback draw. And he's only 5'11", a buck 70. Plays like that will make fine a fan favorite quickly. Weiss is the running back, Mackey in at fullback. Snap back, Fine wants to throw that fade, back right corner to the end zone and incomplete. Same thing, don't tip for right, hit it and go. Okay, I just was trying to, don't set nothing up, hit it and go. Same thing, why not run it, hit it, look and go. We're not going to do anything different. Try for Trevor Moore from 19 yards out, slight angle left, right is up and good. And they won't try any deep shots. Brim will take a knee and let time run out on the first half. And after surrendering an 88-yard punt return, the Mean Green answer with 24 unanswered points in their attempt to even their record at one and one and get the first win of the Seth Latrell era. Gotta, we're, we're too up and down on offense. We've got to continue to grow and, and get better, and we've got to make some adjustments here in the second half. Great. Thanks, Coach. We'll Thank see you. you. Appreciate it. What are you guys doing?